So in this video, I'm going to attempt to make some cage nuts. Now it's these nuts I'm talking about. Um, some people call them captive nuts, but the correct name is cage nuts. Now on, on this Ford Mark 1 console, this is the right hand side rear wing. There's nothing wrong with these, this is perfect. Now the ones you buy on, <coughs> on eBay just have two tags which is not a very good fixing and these ones are four tags so I'm gonna attempt to make some new ones with four tags and they're more secure and I, I like this setup better I'm Steve and welcome to my channel I found these parts in a jar of old Mark 1 bolts can't remember exactly where they come from but the two front wings that I have at the moment are missing the square hole at the bottom where it bolts on near the sill so that all needs to be replaced so I decided to heat the cage nut up flatten it out and use it as a pattern to make some blanks and try to reproduce the cage nuts Need to be straightened a bit, then I'm going to draw a hole in there. So now I've just clamped them all together and I'm going to do these nuts up and cut them out. So that's done. Taking me about an hour and a half to do go around there. Takes time. Maybe I should have put more in to save a bit of time, but so that that's done. It's near as damn it the same as this pattern. So in the last two or three days I've been experimenting of how to make these cage nuts and i am be trying different thicknesses so i started off with mild steel 0.9 and that is 20 gauge tried it with stainless steel 0.9 then 0.7 mild steel and 0.6 mild steel and so i've been using this tool that i made and folding up the three sides which is fine it comes out okay but when i go to fold up the fourth side obviously I've got to get the nut in there inside before I fold it up so I always have problems by folding folding this kink in the last fourth side so so far I'm pleased with this one um, it's not perfect but it will definitely do the job and even though that's that's loose I don't think that's a problem because when you bend the tabs over it will secure it anyway um, and the whole idea of this is that uh, you've got movement anyway so a little bit more movement probably won't make any difference um, and so when you do the bolt up you know it clamps on the tabs anyway and clamps it securely so um i haven't got any 0.7 stainless so that's the only one i haven't tried so i need to order some of that um and try point that, that one point seven stainless and the, these nuts are stainless as well So this is supposed to be 0.7, so I'm just going to check it. Just 
take that burr off. I don't really have to take the burr off because I can go past the burr. Yeah, point, oop, it's point, point six six, point six seven. So yeah, it seems as though most uh, most sheet metal is is never over the dimension. It's always a little bit under, but you know, I'm bit I'm splitting hairs here because because of my background in tool making. You know, I, I think a little measurement is a lot. So so that that, that is 0.66, so that is 0.04 of a millimetre, which is, you know, it's nothing. So that is 0.7. So that's correct. Really, this this metal is too good to make cage nuts out of that you never see, because this is really, really nice bit of stainless this is and I got it from a company called custom parts products custom parts and products this was the second lot I bought from them and uh, yeah they seem okay so here's a good example of how everyone hates stainless steel I've cut these squares out with some tin snips and they, they're not blunt, they're good tin slips. Now I've just flattened these three, but this is how they came out. So it's all distorted on the edges. Uh, there wasn't that much burrs, but if that was mild steel, that would cut out nice and I wouldn't have any trouble. And when I'm trying to uh, flatten it with this, it doesn't flatten like it would do with mild steel. It just resists everything you do to it. I started off with a junior hacksaw and then I went over with a full size hacksaw. The reason was, look what it's done to my saw blade. <laughs> More curses and swearing to come, I'm sure. Right, so I've finally gone all around these with a file and it's ruined that blade it's blunted that hacksaw blade it's actually blunted this funny enough this one is a park side um, i was given this the other day and uh, i wondered how good it was and th this is quite good this park side file very good it's still still sharp after go after going around all this stainless and well that was a little bit blunt anyway so yeah, so now I'm going to undo it. And there we go. I think there's 10 there all together, plus the original. So I just got to go around and deburr all these and I won't be filming that. Right, I've got everything ready now to make one. Now I've already made two just to see if this all works properly with the stainless steel and I tried two different ways of making it. So now I've got a procedure of how to make these. Um, so I'm going to set it up on the vise and just go through making one.
try that in there. Oh, this is this is the uh, the best so far. Yeah, there's not much movement there. come off quite easy that one this is looking the best so far right so that, that's three sides done quite successfully they, they came up come out nice so now I just put the, the nut in there and then I use these shims to centralize the nut side to side And then I clamp the nut with this. And push the nut down. So then I can use the nut to fold the, th the fourth side over. Okay, so it goes a bit um, misshaped, can't help that. So I'll undo this screw. Just put this longer one in. And that's basically it. Um, I can tidy it up a bit because they go a bit misshaped so I can just kind of make them look a little bit better I've got a selection of these, all different sizes that I made before I retired and uh, it wasn't for this, it was for like riveting and things like that. But I found this is good, that's too small, but th th this one, it gradually bends these over if you go, bends over like that, but I will I will be pulling it like that. So I think it's better just to do it like this. looking good I want to make sure that these are pulled pulled apart as much as I can that's very good Turn it 
pushing it like that. This is <laughs> this is the ideal shape for this. Just coincidence. Doesn't look too bad. I think I could always squash this a bit. Oh no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to squash that because then that makes it loose. Um, here. Okay. So. Tight, isn't it? Hmm. Let's just put this in here, and then what I do, I'm going to clamp something on it. Right. So that's what we're trying to achieve. That much movement allows you to line up the panel that you're bolting onto the car that's very tight and you're not going to see this no one's going to see it really um, but you know it does the job sticking up a little bit there i suppose i could push it down like that maybe perfect but I think it's okay I think it's good and it's all stainless so the only bit that's going to rust is is the panel just that bit there not perfect but that's me being too fussy i suppose i should should get a bit of sheet metal with a hole in it to to see how it all clamps up but i'm going to use this this washer really um i know it's too thick but i'm just going to use this washer and see how it how it works really you know it's it's not going to strip it's not going to turn so that's tight that is very tight and as I said before, this actually clamps the, the four tabs or the sheet metal that's on here will clamp it. Yeah, that's very, very tight, that is. So the idea is that you can, if it don't line up, you can just undo it, move it, move it a little bit to another position and do it up again. You got that much movement that's the whole idea so i would say that's a success and that's the end of this video basically mission accomplished